How you doing ladies and gentlemen? This is Harshad back with another video and this is going to be episode 2 of No Coder Builds SaaS Using AI series. And this, this episode is just about ideation. So what is my idea about and how do you guys come up with ideas to build your own AI SaaS platform or any other SaaS platforms, right? It can be any software, social media, uh, it can be any kind of application or mobile app or web app, anything. How do you guys just come up with ideas? So firstly, let's understand what this episode is going to be about. Just a small overview. Also, just to give you a small background about how I've built this presentation. I've built this completely using v0.dev. So there are a lot more use cases than you might just think. You can just basically build your own presentation itself. It didn't take a lot of time for me to build. I had to do a couple of prompts come up with a prompt and then it just made the entire presentation for me. And now let's just dive into this presentation. I'm just going to make a full screen. So the first thing is about ideation, right? So in this presentation, let's deep dive into the process of creating unique, uh, a unique space for like-minded uh, individuals. So that's, that's basically my idea, right? So I want to create a community and a space for like-minded individuals to learn, grow, collaborate, we're all going to be a part of my community and my focus would be on leveraging AI tools, fostering entrepreneurship and building a network state for creators and learners. And a couple of key points that I want to share. So one of the things is productizing myself as a creator because all the knowledge that I have, you are able to see this with a YouTube video, right? I mean, I can sit you guys down um, and just explain the entire thing again and again to thousand people at a time, a thousand people one by one, but that's not what I need. That's not um, or, or what we can do anymore because right now I can just leverage technology. I'm creating this video and you're able to watch this via YouTube and hundreds and thousands of people are able to watch this at once, right? So that's the power of leverage and that's the product. That's the you know main thing about productizing myself and leveraging AI tools for community growth, creating a network state. So network state, what exactly is that is also something I want to get into it. And my idea is going to be a platform called app.harshat.io and also kind of addressing the loneliness, loneliness epidemic through the community as well, because people, men are getting more and more lonelier. They want a strong tight knit community and I, I've got friends too, but I don't have a lot of friends and most of my friends are all online. I've got one friend who lives in another in another country, but we always talk on call. We always share ideas, right? But we're still connected. We're still sharing ideas on a daily basis, right? So that's something we want. We might not all be in the same place, but we can all be in the same community. So that's the kind of platform that I want to build. And what are the objectives of this, right? So monetizing personal skills. So for me as a content creator, how can I monetize my personal skills? I'll be sharing with you guys how you can do that as well. And the reason I want to build a custom platform is because it's it just allows me to do unlimited customizing, right? I can just do a lot more customization than just using school or circle for a community. And also a place for collaborative growth. Yeah, I guess this is repeating a lot of things here, but let's just get into a couple of other key points, right? So as a non-coder, how do you even approach building a SaaS? Right. So I'm just giving you an idea of how you can start building an AI SaaS or AI SaaS or, you know, a SaaS using AI. Right. So the couple of key tools which you need are, of course, you need v0.dev for UI components, cursor.sh or cursor.com for coding assistance because cursor is where you chat with your entire code base while solving problems for you and then creating the entire application. and Claude for uh, other problem solving as well because Claude Sonnet is the best model for coding and you really need Claude Sonnet 3.5 for this. And then Shad C and UI for designing system. I mean, I'm using Shad C and UI because I just like the UI. It's super clean and super nice. I mean, you can use any kind of UI library you want. And that's the building process as well. So design UI components, integrate components using cursor, solve coding challenges with Claude, implement design system using chat CN and iterate refine based on feedback, right? And so what are, what are some benefits of AI based development? 
I'll just give you a small overview here, right? Because rapid prototyping, I mean, if I really have to tell you the best advantage is any non-coder can code because I can't write a single line of code, but using AI, I can build applications. And of course, that's what we're gonna do. And this is my process of how I'm gonna do it. And I was referring to network state, right? So before, before we dive into the concept of network state, I wanna tell you guys how you can get ideas, right? So what is the process of ideation and how did I come up with my own idea? So the first thing would of course be leveraging and online platforms. So there are just these two platforms that I really want to focus on. The first one is Reddit. Reddit you all know, but I don't think a lot of people are using Reddit the right way because you might think it's just a forum. It's not just a forum. It's a space. It's an idea dump where people just come in and dump their ideas. So what you can do is you can basically identify some relevant subreddits. It can be SaaS, it can be startup. Startups are a lot more like entrepreneurship. There are so many, there are so many like build in public. There are so many of these places, right? So you first go to these um, subreddits and then sort it by top posts of all time or, or this year and then look for recurring problems or pain points that people are trying to solve. And after you actually analyze successful posts and comments, you can engage with the community to actually validate your idea as well. So this is something that I haven't done. I haven't done the validation process on Reddit because my approach is basically, I don't want to think too much before I build the idea. I just want to build it. And the best part is I'm actually building this entire process, building, building my entire product while sharing it with you guys. That means some of you could also give me feedback on this application and some of you can also join in the whole community as well. And when you guys start using it, that's when I can get real feedback, right? And the next one is Product Hunt. So Product Hunt is an amazing platform where a lot of people, you know, they're, they're launching so many different products. They're indie hackers, they're like, you know, SaaS, there's email, data visualization, there's a travel application, WordPress. There are so many products and launches happening on a daily basis. I mean, you can just look at the categories here. There's also in Web3 as well. So many platforms and travel, healthcare, AI is something that you can look into as well. So I'd say first look at all these products, just do a deep dive into all of these products, right? So let's say we look into productivity and AI note takers. So we, we go to AI note takers and then we read through all of these. Yeah, this is something I actually use. TLDV is something that I actually use. I don't know they were on product hunt. So look at grain. You, you got to look into all these platforms first and understand what they're, um, so, you know, sometimes they're missing something um, that other people want, a little bit of, you know, customizing or even a little more features that you want to add, or maybe you don't want to, you know, bombard with so many features. You can try to mellow down on the features, do something else. You have your own niche, right? You can always find your own niche. But again, remember distribution is king. You need distribution for anything, any kind of problem that you solve for and any product that you build, all right? Next would be identifying the gaps in these existing solutions, like I said, and look for products with high upwards and mixed reviews, and then study the successful launches for inspiration. So this is the ideation process. You identify the problem first, use Reddit product hunt to spot recurring issues, and then research deep dive into a problem space and existing solution and do as much research as possible and then start brainstorming. So for brainstorming, you can actually use OpenAI O1 model because it's actually really great for uh, doing research because it thinks and then gives you the answer and then validate, refine your idea and then prototype. Prototype, do it as quickly as possible because you need a minimum viable product fast. And now just coming back to my product, so like you guys already know, I'm building a community, right? I'm basically building a proper community for um, our subscribers, all of you guys, you're all gonna be in this community where I'll be giving you courses and more, uh, you know, a lot more ideas and one-on-one -on -one sessions with me. And I also have, you know, a couple of pointers that I wanted to share. 
but you you kind of get an idea of what i'm trying to build right it's basically a community for harshad so i, I want to you know try to monetize my skill set and also help you guys out as well and now if you think of if you actually think of this i'm actually building a network state so we are creating a digital community with shared values and goals so this is for people who want to build who are like me who are you know who are craving a community of builders into ai and are non coders right the non coders they, they know marketing really well they can you know they can they can sell a product really well but they don't know how to build it right so it's it's for people like you guys and now if you see a network state is a highly aligned community with the capacity for collective action that crowd fronts territory around the world and eventually gains diplomatic recognition from pre-existing states i don't know about diplomatic re uh, recognition we don't want diplomatic re recognition nothing of that sort but you get an idea of what a network state is right that's what we want to do you might be anywhere you might be in canada in the us in australia uk india any anywhere but if you have the same kind of mindset if you are in the community that means we are in a network state we are in a nation of our own that's what i'm building and these are some key components which are shared values digital first community a collective decision making and also potential for physical meetups i mean if you do grow really big if i am able to make a lot more recurring revenue on a monthly basis with all these skill set and all these ai tools then i'm pretty sure we'll definitely be doing physical meetups as well and our approach is going to be focus on ai a culture implement implement community governance this is something we're not going to do i think um, v0 just added this but yeah let's skip this i think you guys got an idea of what we're trying to do and combating loneliness this is something i wanted to address because a lot of people are again getting lonely there's a, you know there's a light rise in loneliness as well and i guess regular virtual meetups interest based subgroups and collaborative projects and even mentorship programs or even skill sharing workshops would be really beneficial I don't want to go too much into mental health and all of that. I mean, I don't want to, you know, that's not my niche. My niche is building products using AI, but I do want to address that. I do want to help people who have that urge to get that community, right? So that that's what this is for. And um I mean, getting into the part of productizing myself. Nawal says, learn to sell, learn to build. If you can do both, you will be unstoppable. That's basically what this is. some of you guys know how to sell some of you guys know how to build but this is the this is the time where we do both we have to do both because we got to be unstoppable in the next 5 years that's how we monetize right so productizing myself means packaging my skills my knowledge and experience into a valuable offerings for my audience that's what that's what i'm trying to do right it can be using content creation personal branding and also audience engagement and This is actually the next wave of creators. This this is actually the problem that I found out myself. I was looking into school.com, Circle, Warp and other platforms, right? So these platforms actually help creators build their own community. There are so many creators ha who have their own school community, right? I've seen so many AI school communities as well. And there's a need for this. There's a need for this because people want to interact with the creator. they want to get closer to the creator they want to get more exclusive content real content which actually helps them you know with a lot more substance so that is the problem that i have identified the only thing is i don't have so many followers i mean 1k followers are still good right we also i think i kind of found product market fit so we are going to move forward with this but this is my idea so this is the problem that i want to solve for and we're going to build a custom solution called <coughs> app <clears throat> excuse me called app.harshad.io for my community members right and community features of course um, membership will we'll have to think about but okay again let's focus more on the building the product itself and how is this going to be yeah it's going to be courses community chat one on one sessions digital products exclusive content weekly calls collaborative tools this is something we're not going to add it's just i guess you know chat gpt just added these pointers but you kind of get an idea of what we want to do right and next um it didn't properly give the web website structure 
So website structure, maybe we can delve into later because our, we, we are only building a platform here, right? And uh, community platform features, learning and content, community interaction and additional features. So all of these features are something that we have to build using AI. So uh, I'm just going to take it step by step. I'll just go back to our, you know, grassroots level where, where we use V0 and all the other platforms to start building the product itself. But um, this is a basic idea of how I'm going to do it. What are the kind of things and, you know, um, roadmap and everything that I'm going to add into this. Right. So monetization as well, membership feed, digital products. So these are all the things that I'm going to add into the platform. And in the end, how are we going to implement this? So platform development is going to be UI UX using chat CN. First, we start off with developing the core features, uh, the courses, the community chat and the membership systems, and then integrate the payment system for secure transactions. Or we can just use Stripe for this and implement a uh, network state governance. No, we're not doing that. And content creation. So I'll be developing um, comprehensive course material. Also, like I said, this is such a meta thing to do because the course that I'm so shooting right now, it's like a full course of episode one of Genesis. This is episode two of ideation and all the other episodes is going to be a complete course on building the platform. And this will be uploaded also on YouTube and in the platform itself. So that'll be great. Right? It's like a, such a meta thing to do. And now a marketing and launch. That'll be another thing where uh, we'll, we'll actually be doing marketing as well. How do we market a product from scratch? Growth and expansion, um, not so important right now. Yeah, the conclusion, right? So I think one, one thing I'll just let you guys know is that the internet enables the long tail of weird. So you can be as weird as you want. You can have any kind of ideas. You can have any kind of thought process and you can still build something out of it because we are 8 billion people. And trust me, there would be some guy sitting in some corner of the world who would want your solution. So there's definitely a scope for ideas and building products. So that is, that is what we're going to dive into. But yes, um, I just want to you know end the video right now because this video wasn't a lot of coding session, but it was diving into how to get ideas and also understanding how I'm going to build my idea step by step and what are some features that I'm going to add as well. All right. So this is uh, it. And in the next video, in the next episode, will actually be starting the building process enough of yapping um, let's dive into building the product next all right because without the product it's just going to be a video and there's no use so let's dive into the uh, product building itself how i'm going to start from scratch right i mean you also you already understood what the episodic series is about and now what the ideation process is like now let's directly dive in in the next episode how to build the platform itself Thank you so much guys again for watching. This is Harshit and it's been a pleasure to serve you guys to create these videos value adding content. So I'll be I'll be launching my own newsletter as well very soon. So you guys should definitely subscribe to the newsletter. It's going to be completely free where you get you know weekly points about AI and AI tools and all that directly from me. So yeah, I'll I'll try to minimize the use of ChatGPT try to add as many pointers from my end right and keep it raw as well so yeah that's the that's what the video is about thank you again guys for watching it i just love my subscribers really i mean i just love you guys because you're giving me so much love i'm just going i'm just growing on such a great scale we were at 1000 now we are at 1100 subscribers i'm pretty sure we'll be growing more all right peace